Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how we will install PHP My Admin in uh, our Mac OS 6 system. So the initial step is we need to download PHP MySQL. Not PHP MySQL, PHP My Admin. So I'm in a download page PHP My Admin dot net downloads. So here we have so many options. So I am going with the tar.gz Then close Then show in folder From there I will copy my tar.gz file and I need to create some folder So it's in download folder. So right now I am just renaming that ex extractor folder name into PHP my admin. Okay, so I have in download folder I have PHP my admin folder. So the rest of the things I will do via command line. So I'm going to the command line right now and let's see what I am going what I can do for installation. So here I'm in command line right now. So first thing I need to go to download portal. Okay, so here, from here I need to move my file into, the file name is phpMyAdmin to another location, that's user local phpMyAdmin. Okay, so it's asking for my password. I'm providing that. So right now, it's done. So right now, I need to go to that folder. PHP my admin. So I am there, so I can see all the files that's in PHP my admin. So what I need to do here, I need to create a configuration file. So I am copying already existing configuration file. Config dot sample dot inc dot php into config dot inc dot php okay so I can check what is inside that file so I'm config dot inc to php so i can see so many things here most of them are configuration for php my admin probably if something related to the port or something that we can change otherwise we will keep the same Okay, right now I am not going to change anything. The other thing I need to do is create a configuration file in Apache 2. So I need to bind 
PHP my admin with the Apache 2. So I am going to do that right now. So sudo touch Apache 2 other PHP my admin config. Okay, so that also done. Then I need to open that one. I will copy that. Okay, I am inside that one. There is nothing there. There, I will copy some of the things. So it's it's like PHP Myermin allies. So if it is slash PHP Myermin, it it will go to user local PHP Myermin. So directory options folder hello. There are so many things. I am not going to all of that details. So that's all for the configuration session right now i need to restart my apache system okay so it's restarted so right now i'm going to local host local host i have apache Okay, you, you don't have permission. Okay, there is some changes that we need for configuration file. Sudo nano hello from hold is there. Okay. Maybe I can change and try, but I am not sure that is the reason. I need to restart my system.
still I am getting the same error. inside that directory we can paste like this but here also I am not sure about that okay Okay, try again. It's not working. We will find some solution offline and I will come with uh, that particular solution. So, right now we failed to find a solution to run this one. Probably we will do in next video. I will show you how we can solve this problem. Most of the online resources are confusing as a main problem. So one person will write in one way and it will not work for some other system. So Okay, I will solve that issue offline. So that's the, this is the way we are usually installing our PHP MyAdmin. So probably on next video I will show you the how we will solve this forbidden error for PHP MyAdmin. So actually my Apache 2 works fine, but only the PHP MyAdmin session. I'm getting there so if I am going to the Apache 2 logs you can see some of them Okay, this so
and there is no error log here. Okay, here I have error log. I can see my logs and also to know the reasons why my request is failed. Client den denied by server configuration use a local PHP admin. That is the exact reason for the problem, but we need to find a solution. That probably I will do on next video. Thank you for watching.